Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing an early lineup build for the Chargers Cowboys slate for this evening. I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. And what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the True DFS projections, which are my projections, um, and the Saber Sim ownership projections. And the only reason for that is I just I'm not very confident in my ownership projections at this particular point. So we're going to use the the uh, the Saber Sim ones. And and again, for those of you that are new. I mean, the reason why we have to use ownership projections is we are going to run a contest simulation where we we give up, come up with our optimal lineups, and then run those against what we believe other people are going to do in the contest. So unless we have a decent set of ownership projections, we're not going to be able to know what to compare our lineups to. So um, for now, we're going to use the Sabersim ownership projections, which I don't think are as tight as mine, which kind of combine Sabersims and others. Um, but it's at least something to get started and to kind of show you the process. I'm also going to talk through a couple of the, just, the, I don't want to say the plays, but we're going to X a couple of guys out of the player pool. And then we're going to build and see what we'd like. So it looks like a good game, you know, 50 point total, whatever. So I imagine we're going to probably want to use a lot of the offensive guys and not so much the defenses and kickers, things like that. But let's do this. Let's upload the projections from the, this actually keep this in an external file, but for those of you who, who are uh, subscribers, you, you, this will automatically be put into the Saberson uh, uh, interface. Um, okay. So actually I do have a decent ownership projection here. Um, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, Next thing I want to do is I want to look at which players I kind of want to X out. So what we do is, this is like my project, I, I scroll down here to where I get to a guy that doesn't have like a, uh, a thing on, like red or a green. Because what that means is that that's somebody I didn't project. I didn't project, but Saber Sim is using this pool. So we have to do make kind of a judgment of whether we want to include these and this projection, by the way, in our player pool. So we have to look a little bit at these guys. So um, so Jalen Tolbert, we look at him. It's just a question of whether we want to keep in the pool or not. You know, um, so you know, last game he didn't have any targets. Game before that he had four. Game before that he didn't have any targets. Game before that he had four. And if we knew that he was going to get four targets, two hundred is probably worth a shot. Um, I wonder if they would go this deep in their depth chart in a, in a, you know, what rates to be a pretty important close game like this. Um, but I think I am going to use him. I don't know. You know, th these other players kind of rate so much. They're going to score just so many more fantasy points. I think that even if he gets a little something, I don't think it's going to be enough. So he's going to be, I'm going to X him out. We'll X out Tolbert. It's probably a good idea to X out all of these guys that are not showing up in the projections. Um, Darius Davis, guys like that. So let's let's do that. We'll X out all these guys. And then probably have to X them out of the captain as well. It's not going to remember. And then likewise, though, I mean, do we really want to use these other guys that have like a, 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 a kind of a small projection, like the third string? Yeah, I think we should use probably the third string running back for, for some degree. You know, um, there's going to be Dowdle and 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 Deuce Vaughn behind Pollard. I think I think using three running backs is fair, and I think that using the backup tight ends. Uh, to Ferguson is fair. Let's look at Turpin. Just make sure that we, we're not indiscriminately leaving Turpin in, but these other wide receivers out. I mean, wh why is he so much better than the others? You know, because he had one target, one target. Okay, he had a touchdown, whatever, but it was still one target. One target, three targets. See, I can't imagine using him and not the others. So as a matter of fact, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to, we're going to go back and, and re-enter say Jalen's Holbert. And we're going to give them the same 
projection. Um, we're gonna give we're gonna give them both like a three. And let's look at the Darius Davis just just for the Chargers for a second. Let's see what he's done. And we're not saying we're playing him. We just wanted whether to use him in the pool. Two targets, one target. Um, is that enough at fourteen hundred? I mean, I don't. Three rushing attempts. I mean, that that might be something, right? Including we had a fumble, but they're going to run these. Only 16 snaps. Speedy rookie, though, we're, we're going to use him. We're just going to have to use him. So Davis, we'll make him, you know what, we're going to turn him into th number three also. We'll give him a three projection. I don't want to distinguish any of those guys. And we'll also give them the same ownership. You know what I mean? I, I don't think it's – I don't think it's reasonable to use one of these over the others. So I don't want them to – over compensating. Um, but it's a pretty big uh, projection for uh, uh, ownership projection for Luke Schoolmaker, but that's fine. Um, and yes, Dowdle, twice the ownership of Deuce Vaughn makes some sense. Okay, fair enough. Let's go back into flex over here and make sure that kind of, yeah, so this all transposed over here. And we're going to, okay, so we're going to use Tober. And we're going to use Davis. We're going to use all these guys. All right. So now let's build a lineup. We'll build, yeah, I'll build 100 lineups. We'll build 100 lineups. And while that's happening, we will um, put the contest sim settings into here. And what we'll do is, I guess, we'll start with the Millie Maker, um, which pays 40%. And that's going to be 132,000 entries. So let's put this in 132,000 entries, 40% for first. So again, the, the, the concept is that it is going to be tailing our, our lineups to the exact contest that we're playing. Um, okay, another contest we could we could play is, as a matter of fact, let's 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 enter these now. We'll just, we'll just put a couple. We'll put put a bunch of dummy lineups in so you can see what we're doing. We'll bulk, bulk enter these. We'll play a hundred of these, and we'll play one of the two point conversion. And we'll play one of the four point stance. Good. Okay. The two point conversion, one of the two point stance. So just while we're here, the four point stance has three fifty. Two point conversion is two thousand. Um, didn't seem to be answering these things for me, which is annoying. Um, but let's just take a look. Contest sim setting. So we'll add the contest sim setting for the two point conversion. 2002. And then we have pays 25%. Save that. And then four point play, I guess they call it four point play. That had 300 people, I believe. 25% for first. And we'll save 17. Um, these enter. Yeah, these enter. Good. All right. So, um, Let's run a contest sim first and see what we come up with. And then what we're going to do is then we're going to try to mess with it. Because even when you run the contest sims, what that doesn't really do is, is give what I call du duplication medication. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't really provide lineups that that are just not going to be duped. It provides good good lineups relative to the contest you're in, but it doesn't factor in that other people might play those exact lineups. Um, anyway, uh, let's... Uh, oh, we're calling this uh, Saber some ownership. Right, that's fine. I, call it, I didn't call it lottery. So when we put it in here, um, I mean, the first thing I'll notice is that, you know, there's very little money left on the table and listen i don't know much of anything but lineups that look like this are just not you know they're they're not winning a million dollars they're just not 
and not that that's the end of the world to not win the million dollars, but you can put all these in and probably be goody D. Um, I guess, you know what? You put Jalen Tolbert in, you get a little different. You put Deuce Vaughn in, you get a little different. You put Darius Davis in. Okay, I see. I think I see what they're doing here. We're at least putting one – in every lineup, there's at least something that's a little bit different. Okay, that's fair enough. So that's one thing you could do is you could play, play lineups that kind of look like this. What's interesting is I want to see what the stack exposure looks like. So it does look like mostly – four twos and threes, but there are some five zeros, which is, which is interesting. Um, now here's a couple of things you can do to get yourself a portfolio, which is a little more diverse. But before, before we do that, let's do a couple of things. First, let's make it min uniques too. There's a couple more combinations there. You're not as reliant on one player. Um, and then what we will do is run a run the simulation for the uh, two-point conversion. Actually, we'll rank them by the two-point conversion. So here, these these are tailored specifically for this um, for this uh, contest. And that one, we only need one. So what we want to do is, well, let's, let's save to this one first. So we'll save to our lineups. Now we just did the 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 uh, lineup files, which should be all there. And then we will enter the two-point conversion into the two-point conversion. Then we will go back to the, the lottery one. What did we say, 100? And enter these in there, save into And then we will look at the four point play, whatever we call that. We only need one. And we'll enter that into here. And what I like to do is for now, I wanna, I, I wanna upload these for now because like, let's say I start to do something else and then I get distracted. You know, I don't wanna for, forgotten to do something at least. So I, I, this is a good portfolio of lineups. So I'll save this for now in case just I get really distracted and I forget because that happens to old people. All right. Um, okay. So a couple of things you could do. Let's pull this up again. These um, Saber Sim rated by risk adjusted ROI. Let's see if we can't improve the dupe thing. One thing you could do. So there are two ways you can do this. You could rerun. Okay, three things. You can rerun your lineups and leave money on the table. That's one thing. And then you could also then resort it by the contest. Another thing you could do is you could just search these lineups for lineups that leave money on the table. Um, that's fine. Or you could you could you could set a rule to have a lineup be less than a certain geometric mean, which is essentially a way of just uh, of dealing with, with, with the ownership product to hopefully ensure that you don't get too many dupes. So when you calculate that again, I mean, I can give you the raw formula. You can look at all the same, there's a lot of Saberson videos on this or you can Google them as well, but to figure out the geometric mean, and I put a little spreadsheet together, maybe I'll put this up on the site once, is, um, is uh, you put the number of players in the lineup, Number of ventures, what do we say, 133,000 or something like that? Let's say you only want one dupe. So you want a geometric mean of less than 14. This is quoted in terms of percent. So what you can do is within this field, you hit add a filter. And I already did this already. I put a custom filter in here where you could put, and I call it geotest actually. Let's say later than, you know, greater less than 14. Let's just see if we even get any of these at all. Yeah, so it's not even getting any lineups with a geometric mean less than 14. So then what I like to do is I kind of want to just play around with it a little bit. Let's um let's make it so oh, I don't know 20. Let's see what we get there. Uh so you can get 42 of the 5,000 lineups that have a geometric mean of less than 20. Okay. 
So a couple of things you could do at this point. Um, I mean, I, I might do this. You know, I, I could use these 42, for example, and build, say, another 58 using some other method. So what we're going to do is for now is I, let's save these to this favorites comma, which is something you can do. But the other thing I'm going to do, where is, where is, where is the thing save? It's like, oh, here, boom. Save to favorites. Here it is. I am gonna I am going to to save these to CSV as well. So I remember. Then another thing we can do is let's see if we can sort these by salary, but I feel like I'm guessing. But before I do that, let me okay, that's fine. Let's filter this by um and then we're not rebuilding it, we're just sorting it by salary. So let's show line up with salary less than, and again, we're just kind of guessing here. So this is the problem with this, 48,000. Um, so you can get plenty of line ups less than 48,000 of these 5,000. Um, um, so that's actually not bad. So you could definitely do that. So then what you can do, so this is kind of fun. So let's say you put 58 of these lineups into the favorites. Now here's a quiz. You know, let me say pause the video, right? So if you put these 58 lineups in the favorites column where we previously put 42 lineups, question is how many lineups are going to appear in the favorites folder. So it's sort of a trick question, right? Because it might be a hundred, but it might not. Because if there are lineups that appeared in both of these filtered uh, groups, it wouldn't create a dupe. It would just create like the unique lineup. So let's just see. Let's add these to the filter. Uh, excuse me, let's add these to the uh, to the to the favorites. And now let's see how many are in here. Favorites. Let's put up um, where are our lineups? Players. Oh, lineups are here. Lineups. So it is actually a hundred. So that's actually an interesting observation that there are no lineups that when you just sort the general non-geometric mean pool into sub 48,000, there are no lineups that also have a geometric mean of less than 20. It's kind of interesting, look at some of these 20.94, it's close, right? So for a, for a slate like this, I think is actually a, probably a pretty good way to play. But those are just kind of way things you could do. So then what you do is you then you go into favorites and then you save these to my contests. And just for the for the lottery, we'll change that. And then we will edit these entries. Now there should be, should be very few if any dupes because there were no dupes in the lottery and there's actually no dupes there's nothing that's in these two point like these lineups they're in the two point conversion the four point are not in the lottery which is probably correct and then you see all these lineups a lot of them money on the table some of them do some of them don't but the ones that don't look look kind of funny you know they have guys that you might not want to play which is which is exactly who you want to play the only thing I didn't do uh, with this is I didn't make any groups. Like I didn't do something like max one, I don't know, uh, Kelly Eckler, you know, or max one Pollard Turpin, you know what I mean? Like, or something like that. But um, I don't know if I'm going to do it for this particular slate. 
what I'll do it is when I like sign like two backup tight ends, you know what I mean? I'll make sure to not play more than one of each of those. Aside from that, I don't mind having two running backs here. Maybe Eckler Kelly is kind of asking for trouble. What the hell? Then? Let me let me see. How many Eckler Kellys do I have? Even? Let's just see. Eckler. And let's see how many Kellys I have with Eckler. Um, 10. Oh, no, wait. Oh, Kelly. Three lineups with Eckler and Kelly, but with one in the captain. Okay. So let's get rid of that one for a minute. So three Eckler with Kelly with, with Eckler as the captain. Let's try something else. Let's try. Let's get rid of this. Let's try. Well, do we have any Kelly captains? Um, we don't have any Kelly caps. How about, how about with two of them in the flex? Let's look at uh, Eckler. And then we'll try Kelly. How many with Eckler and Kelly? So nine. So 10% of the lineups have both Eckler and Kelly together. Um, you know, I don't know if I want to change that. I might. I'm just not sure. I have to look at some more content. I have to look at more some more runs. I didn't quite figure that out yet. And you could do like kind of game scripts or sort of like uh, you don't want to play. I, I don't even know how to create the game script where this wouldn't be good. You know what I mean? Like I, I it's like always not that great. Um, so I think this is uh, it's one thing I would look at. And I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, that, I'm just going to do DraftKings for now. And that's just kind of what I what I play around with. At least in the in the early look. As far as the game goes, I don't know. It looks like about a pick em game. It's like pretty high scoring, which means you want to probably don't want to play. I mean, too many of the defenses. Let's see how many of these I have. By the way, but yeah. On the other hand, I mean, I know the Cowboys like to. How many Cowboys defenses do I have? Um, in the captain, uh, none. No Cowboys defense in the captain. That's good. I think that's good. Ooh, we have one in the Chargers. Oh, we have two Chargers in the captain. Oh, my God. Is that just torching money? I don't know. Uh, Chargers in the flex, 14%. Wow. it's a lot. Should we just X that? And then 14% Cowboys as well. So that's something again, you know, just put your your own spin on it. You know, you you could X out the defenses. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's necessarily the worst idea in the world. Just for just for 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 F's sake. Can you do it from here? Probably not, right? I, I don't think you can do it from here. Let's just see. If you accept the Chargers, no, because it's only going to give you then, yeah, it's not giving you a full complement of lineups. You can do it from here. So let's just do it. Let's, let's just see what that what that stand looks like. Let's say we, we're going to X out the Chargers, X out the defenses. Just that neither of these guys are going to stop each other. Well, but X got Dallas' defense is rough business, though, isn't it? Um, but this is the way you would do it. I mean, you would go back and you'd start with, so this is the 58. Um, this is the one just that saved the salary. And the other thing what I'd have to do is X out the defenses. So let's just see where, where are the Cowboys defenses? Uh, Cowboys, they're not there already, so that's fine. Chargers, we at once will get rid of Chargers defense. Well, the problem is going to be Cowboys defense here. Oh, but it didn't. Why did it not knock it out? Hmm. Let me see. 
Oh, it did it over here. Okay, perfect. So now we once again, now we have a new set of 58 lineups. But I can't use that favorites thing anymore because it's going to replace, right? Um, so we'd have to do this kind of separately. But I think this is fine. If we again, this is if we want to X out the defense. Now again, what we remember this trying to do, right? This is lineups that have 2,000 less, less than 2,000, more than 2,000 left on the table. Let's just save these to CSV. We'll call this something. Um, we'll call this. So I'm going to decide. Save as. And I, no, I don't know if anybody else plays this way, but this is what I do. Um, so 50. So we're going to call this 58. Uh, uh, no D. 2000, because that'll know it's 58, no defenses. So now let me go back to that other filter where we go back and do the, um, the geo test. What was it, less than 20? Why we can't, why are there no... Uh, We have this right it said it has to see some geo testing. Okay, so you're fine. So 42 with no defenses, I presume. So this is 42. Now, my only question is again, is this going to dupe these 58 that I just made? Now, we're not going to be able to use the friend favorite thing to make this work, I don't believe, but I have tricks. So here's the tricks. So here's my, uh, here's the 42, and we're going to call this save as, well, we don't really need to save it, but we're going to do it anyway. Save as, uh, we're going to call this geo test 20, no D. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add these other lineups, the other 58. And now we have to run this through this tool that I created to eliminate dupes. Because, I mean, I, you know what I could do? Check this out. I could, I could just put this into the system, right? So let's do that actually first. So let's, let's just put this in here and hopefully get lucky. And hope there's no dupes. Put this in here. We'll just re replace what we did with what we have. And hope there are no dupes. Let's see. Let's see, we hope to see no twos. Let's see. Oh, we did it. So we didn't we didn't need to do our tricks. Excellent. 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 Um, okay, so that'll do it because what I, what I was going to do is this is I want to show you the uh, the no dupe tool, which is this thing. I will put this on the side one of these days, but I don't think you need it if you could use that favorites thing appropriately. You could put this in this this thing here, and then if and if there were any dupes, it would remove them. I would then show you what dupes there were. Like for example, like if you just if you, if you trick the system, you went like here, and then like you made dupes, for example, and you hit remove duplicate lineups. Then it would have removed those from this pile and showed you the dupes that you had. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's uh, probably a little more than you bargained for today, um, but that's you know my process, especially what I would do early. And I'll do something like this, you know, with the new projections, obviously, with the new information, all that stuff, as we get a little bit closer to lock. But that'll do it. Good luck, everybody. And we'll see you probably for a live before lock show.